Shalom everyone, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for a, a energy check. Okay, so if you are returning back, I appreciate you all so very much for being a part of this channel. And uh, I just send everybody love and light who is upright, striving to be that way. May you continue and be blessed every single day. If you're new, my name is Shannon, and I'm glad to have you. We look at criminal activity here on this channel. You will hear disturbing information at times. I just try to encourage people to look in the mirror and make a thing right and teach from that place. Anything goes, we're asking at the hand of the only wise king of the universe. People call him the universe, but I call him by a scriptural name, which is Jehovah Elohim. The scripture is found in the tarot, but this is not a religious channel. I'm not even a religious person, but I do keep all ten of the commandments. And I do confess our Lord and Savior who lived among us in the flesh, walked right down here in this earth, lived and died and rose again by the hand of the great uh, Father in heaven who rose him from the dead. So, anyway, this is who I am. And so, um, anyway, if you stay, you stay great. If you don't, then I guess you got to go away. <laughs> Thanks for checking us out. Um, happy birthday, happy anniversary, and all that kind of stuff. Let's see what's going on. Yehovah Elohim, I appreciate you so very much. I thank you for clear, precise, defined messages. Yehovah, rebuke, bind, and block every foul, wicked, dark thing, and shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs. Well, people, this real heaviness that's coming out. Some people were getting a whirlwind today, and if you and I are in the upright, we're protected every day. Doesn't mean we don't go through things, because many are the, you know, afflictions of the righteous. But the Most High, He He comes and delivers us, delivers us out of them all. Somebody's got a big heavy burden, and this is an attacking energy. Uh, as we know, this is a victory. Um, something's very heavy in a very big spiritual way wands go back to spiritual energy the hermit keeps coming out the last couple times I've read um, somebody's been going in solitude try to heal something then so be it uh, why is the hermit here this is all time wisdom somebody's got to have some wisdom because some something's very much oppressive here why is, um, hold on a minute, let me fix my cards, they're all backwards here. Why is the hermit here? This can be a judgment card. There's a snake down here, and the hermit can catch a snake if he's in the upright. Otherwise, somebody's been trying, obviously, to attack and to catch somebody up in something here. Why is the hermit here? What is this here for? The letter T is here in this reading. If you're new, I read my cards a lot differently than a lot of people, so you'll just have to learn me as we go. Uh, the Six of Pentacles, this is about being generous. But, you know, if somebody's going to lay the burden down, great. Otherwise, somebody's paying somebody off to do something because they're filthy, dirty, and they're trying to catch somebody up in something. And this is my bribery card. We'll see in the wordings when it comes out. There's the Queen of Wands. A lot of wands. Even the Hermit carries a wand very passionate person out here with the queen of wands she's in the up, upright she'll be spiritual otherwise she's a freaking hothead and there's you know warring going on here the magician even the magician has a wand we've seen the magician this morning physicians are out here folks this is somebody very skilled somebody's trying to figure out how to speak if that's in the upright to lay down new foundation then so be it but there's a lying cheating disgust out here people a thief is out here a manipulator is out here so if this queen of wands is dealing with that some of you all are dealing with somebody who's passionate about you know uh, you know catching somebody up in something and some people it is this person okay somebody's a cheater out here with the seven of swords and has manipulated something really bad out here with this uh magician card the two of pentacles trying to get my balance here okay back and forth back and forth stuff well i don't like it yesterday we had wording that you know everybody knows somebody's a liar and they're not even freaking respected because somebody's filthy and dirty and a manipulator out here 
What's the seven? Is somebody's got hidden intentions on their job when we see the fox come out. The queen of wands can also represent somebody who's in the public eye. And the aleph head is somebody who leads clans of people. We see a bunch of people down here either going to uh, make a decision here to attack somebody who needs to be attacked. And out of the freaking way to put the scales over somebody's uh, freaking, you know, head. Uh, then so be it. Uh, otherwise, somebody is able to stand up here if they are in the upright, regardless if there's a group involved in something here. What's the Seven of Swords here for, please? The Seven of Cups. There's a consequence. Two Sevens. Seven to Sevens, a fortune number. Okay, we got generosity going on. Hey, I'll pay somebody off. This is a choice. This is a consequence. Okay, there's the Two of, of uh, Pentacles again. Somebody's got a choice out here around this energy. Somebody lying because there's a consequence of what they've already chosen. Now they're trying to get their balance here. Why is Seven of Cups here? That's a confusion card. Again, we already know somebody's kook. We do know that we're dealing with some kooks out there. That's done some stupidness. That's definitely a confusion energy. The Eight of Cups. Seven of Cups. The Eight of Cups is out here. Um, this is about making a choice to walk on because there's a battle out here there's a battle out here there's the justice card at the end of the at the bottom of the deck with strength attached to it the truth and the lie it comes on my channel often like that okay well there's just there will be justice for something for some type of stupid attacking and everything else what is it a hidden space you hold up Somebody goes by another name, and this is a disguise. And then we have uh, AKA out here. So we have the letter um, K, the letter A, the letter T. Okay, so somebody's name is Kate. Okay, we can also, and this can also be a C, a cat energy, somebody who likes cats, stuff like that as well, or somebody just goes by cat or something like that. That's out here. It's, you know, we just put an E on the end of the T-A-K and somebody takes something, there's a thief out here. Somebody took something out here. What's in the hidden space? The um, gentleman is here. For some people, it is a specific black gentleman involved. Now, for some people, this is an upright person. For some people, this is not an upright person. So whoever you are in your situation, it'll go a certain way. The house, the, you know, this home matters and things like that. This is inheritances, um, projects. We can go back to that house as, as well. Okay, so something's, something's here around this gentleman. It's a very significant person. This is also a professional card. And some people are professional freaking liars. Some people are professional in the public eye as well. Why? You know, I'm going to take one on this gentleman card, okay, as well. Uh, the cross. Somebody's spiritual here, then somebody's spiritual here. The Queen of Wands is also a spiritual person as well. For if they're in the upright, they're very spiritual. And if they're in the negative, they're a witch because we still got witchcraft coming out here. Okay. All right. This is a burden on somebody. Okay. Divinity, things like that. This could be a very spiritual person as well, positive or negative. We have the lilies at the bottom of the deck. This is an older, again, older people could be here. It was really coming out today. Um, this is like elders. This is an elder of a church or something like that. Remember the other day we had a fake preacher that came out. Okay, and that ain't good people. And we can find it right now in scripture how some of these people have creeped in and did some stupid. This is though about peace and harmony and somebody's, if somebody's guilty and somebody's going to come clean about the truth, about some stupidness, about some situation that's taking place, maybe even around an attack or something like that, then so be it. Then peace and harmony then would be here with the lilies. Somebody's name could be Lily as well or Lillian could be out here. You hold up. You just pick through my hands, please, or just bring out what needs to come out with this deck and then pick through my hands with the other deck. Dorms, so rooms, is somebody you get to uh, college with or, you know, dorm rooms. We have the house here, so whatever the house is, something about dorms are here. What does that mean? I don't question what a great one brings out, what it brings out. seen the word trust somebody needs to trust what else you want to bring out here please 
the park something happened at the park and so bit and something around a park is here a body of water well we know it that's big time energy that's really come out and court well we have legal matters here but somebody is going to go to jail for something that's taking place around that water ordeal okay they there will be justice there really will there will be a positive outcome here thank you you hold that yes because something's been a freaking burden around around something we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for justice every day i have a conversation with the great one about it folks i really do let me take some more cards i hope you just pick through my hands any given person who needs some specific word offset of any kind of vein that any of this energy can go down just give them hope give them answers uncover things that have been a mystery you say out here that there will be a positive outcome then we take your word okay uh, underground cities now that's really interesting I will you know do, I, let me just say something come across to me today that literally had something about underground with it okay all right well we've got business energy here I'm not gonna go into it but this this personal word here for me as well but you know anyway we're dealing with war and things like that in the earth and you always been bringing out a lot of stuff about um government and stuff and so be it but that's amazing that my hands found this um all right well you know you'll just have to just keep on speaking wrath killeth the fool the foolish man and envy slayeth the silly one i literally found this card yesterday right before i went to bed i did a big reading and you have brought this out. So wrath killeth the foolish man, and envy slayeth the silly one. Okay, well, whoever that person is, man, you're just bringing it out. We have a love situation out here. Somebody dreams to kiss somebody. The Queen of Wands represents somebody um, very attractive. Okay, somebody's twice dead. Listen, we have spiritual things out here. So if you're brand new and you don't even know what the scripture says and what this even means about being twice get dead, you can read in the book of Jude that people in this hour would be um, creeping into churches and stuff like that and uh, doing some stupid and, and, and bribing. Bribery goes to a curse in the scripture. So if you're brand new, I'm teaching you here. Somebody wants to bribe you, please don't take it. You it pervert your way. Okay, somebody's a full, full out here. Uh, you know, the cross can take us back to sacrificing and stuff like that. And we're dealing with the occult. I touched on it a little bit this morning, but twice dead in the scripture says that those people who went the way of Cain and Cain put their children through the fire and stuff like that, they're dead. They'll never rise again. Uh, the person's seared. They're, they don't have their soul anymore. Okay, they're, they're, all they do is manipulate people within some matters. There will be court, there will be a trial around somebody who is twice dead. Somebody's gone spiritually, uh, they're, they're crazy around some situation. For some people, it's this person. For some people, this person's dealing with this, a person that way. Heartbreak, yeah, there's heartbreak. Something about in the morning time, something happened in the morning time, or there's a heartbreak in the morning, somebody's gonna be bent and cuffed and, and they're guilty and they're gonna go to jail, then so be it. Something about in the morning time, something about something being broken or something happened around broken glass, if somebody got hurt or something like that around glass or something whatever that is i mean we already have court so if there's trial going on around some matter and so be it something about a family reunion and some something about being destitute and forsaken and being in need of shelter and food well, we have a home right there okay we, we, we're doing with people who's also you paid people to throw people out man right out of the churches itself people because christ himself said that in this tribulous time that he said they would even throw you out and they would say you know that they were doing a service to god okay we're here have you seen how many people standing on the street uh, some people may deserve to be there because maybe they are twice dead but some people have been thrown out for christ's sake people uh, it's disgust. Um, your in-laws are a problem. Okay, well, we do have family matters out here. Somebody's in-laws is out here. Um, something that really stands out is out here, I guess. Some people get some eye-opening situations, and I guess so. 
Yoga says to give back what's not yours. Well, again, somebody's got something stolen out here. Again, we had the word take. Like I said, I love you, Jehovah. It's just amazing. Somebody who spits all the time is out here. Let me tell you something. Jehovah spits. Jehovah says that he's going to spit out the person who's not hot or cold. They're just lukewarm. Sometimes I'm in, in it. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I tell the truth. Sometimes I don't. We have a snake out here in this picture with the hermit. And, um, you know, the snake talks out both sides of their mouth. And so, you know, Jehovah's going to spit somebody out. Okay, in this time, because somebody's twice dead. But those of you who are dealing with some kind of person uh, that does spit all the time, what they spit out of their mouth, I don't know. Just somebody who spits all the time is out here, whatever that means. Uh, again, we have something about, you know, people being thrown out that I was just talking about. We have the axe. Oh, we have an axe murderer out here as well, people. We just do. Somebody's twice dead. They don't give a rip. They're into sacrificing stupidness and, and uh, everything else. Uh, so the word axe is here, but Jehovah says that his axe is at the root. He's going to cut out all unrighteousness. Every bit of it's going to go away. It's in righteousness that we are established, folks. He says to us, for thou shalt not fear and terror shall not come near thee if we're in righteousness. Okay? But whatever's happened, standing in the truth, there's an anointing to break a yoke off of somebody or a group that are twice freaking dead. Okay? Uh, you need to walk in peace because that's a peace card. Okay? So maybe just need strength out here. All right. Well, this is what come out. Um, there's a, So, you know, if this is a... The, the, this came out last night in a different deck that I was using. I was making reference to racial stuff. If you're racist get off my channel. You're, you're an idiot and you're stupid and you just need to get off my freaking channel. I only bring it out because I look at criminal activities and stuff like that, but we had um, this little black child card came out and there was a black gentleman there and a white gentleman there as well. So something's taking place with interracial things and that energy uh, could still be out here as well. Uh, again, I want to point out out a couple of things with this child being here we have dorms then you're doing something you went to school with okay um college or something like that when you were younger because this can represent you know it, it, maybe even just high school as well somebody you went to school with it's also somebody who's got a childlike brain out here okay the seven of cups is is a crazy card it's also somebody um that is stumbling up on some type of information we also have something about a body of water and we have the anchor here uh obviously the cross represents burdens and stuff like that the anchor represents to be you know to, to feel weighed down with some stuff if somebody does feel weighed down because there's oppression out here but look Jehovah just stated that it's in righteousness that you and i will be established and if we're standing in the fear of Jehovah, then then the fear of the wicked one can't touch us. We'll be established. Somebody needs to get up to the truth and bend somebody somewhere and get out of this craziness, okay, uh, in whatever's going on. We don't fear the wicked people. It's time to get them cut out of the earth. All right, this big energy. But uh, this is what Jehovah wanted to talk about tonight. Until next time, shalom.